welcome back. Constant crashes in 80s music. I guess it floats someone's boat. I guess we don't get to it. Alright, so right now we're at the bumper cars. So the next stop is most likely going to be the door. Callum. matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she just gets some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, yes, Sheriff. Could you say by the comments of the builder, the problem is the locals live a lot of rumors about which generous and Julian Kirk on those tales every time the bolt comes loose and wrench goes missing, those fools are crossing themselves against the black rancher. Of course, that's why I chose to side with the other potential Solomon Islands and access for dark energy and the power to spade for the earth here. It makes my skin crawl. I thought the fingers were put on some of the bolt cameras and even on an interesting book smoke in the industry. Turns out they do, and it turns out that they will manage to add some of the greatest strong connections to the cloud. Perhaps he grows now and kind of the plans that I need to see. Alright, let's go back to the
inside the ferry. It sounds safe. Oh god, there's someone. Someone's already in there. Oh no, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Chad's in there. I saw him. People come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. After that, he mostly just drank. Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. I can't tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. But I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Oh my. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. Well, shit. According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment, and then gone. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. A lot of people idolize their children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk? Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. My angel oh. likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! You give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Oh. Wiping asses, mopping a piss, feeding them, little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... We all go insane. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything! It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. Whoa. Stay where you are! That's a little harsh. I always wanted to ride this one. Never got around to do it before. Cool, let's die. I'm telling you, I'm gonna ride one of these times, I'm gonna ride the, at least one of these road to these rides, I'm just gonna die. Let's do this. Roller coast tycoon. Now we're playing Thrillville, so we're gonna go off the rails with this one. I just know it. 
What do you want? We need to talk about Callum. What the hell? What do you mean? What have you done to him? I? That's insulting. You and your boy are everything that this place doesn't want. The antithesis of what we stand for. Where is Callum? The poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. But the park is just so hungry. Tell me where my son is. The witch has him now. Has both of you. No happy ending here, I'm afraid. Just... just leave me alone. Fool. You always were. awaits this isn't a game Callum Callum where are you Callum has bruises on his arms finger marks someone has been hurting him I've asked him demanded really to know where he got the marks but he doesn't want to answer me something has scared him into silence he doesn't dare talk He's been changing, too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night, he tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. But they are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him in his sleep, changing him. They are taking my baby away from me. I can't save him. There will be pain. But I love him and in the end, he will understand why. Okay. I can help you, Callum. What are you scared of? I'm not playing anymore, Callum. Keep them away from me. I'm on the way. Come back! Don't let him take me. I can help you, Callum. Don't let the witch put me in the oven. This isn't a game, Callum! The whole town was shocked by that one. Never found out who did it.
bastard. We did this to him. I don't know. Let's not think about that. Calla, where are you? Oh, oh, fuck. Gravity, hey. Turn around. Turn around. Okay. Forgive me, Callum. Don't leave me here, Callum. Don't touch me. Callum, I'm sorry. Uh. Mommy, I'm scared. Don't leave me here, Callum. All right, Callum, coming for you. Take me! I'm coming! Ooh. Oh god. Oh, no! is a collage of contradictions all of its own. Millions of people die every year in car crashes, and the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. Hear the children scream with joy. In the sideshow alley, you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass-produced Chinese teddy bears while a grinning carny pockets your hard-earned five dollars. And what secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? The tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, the clotted blood of the lonely suicide. And the face of the witch looms over it all. I always despised her toothy grin and warty nose. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. I think Callum is waiting for me. Inside. Oh, I don't want to go in. You know, I have a flashlight. Why aren't I using it? Oh, hey, speaking of which. Give it to me! I 
Atlantic Island parks close the gates to cheering. My own fool is scared of what they don't understand. My machines like sell and dejected, but I'm not beaten up. So my wife back to Boston and retreated here in the House of Horrors. I must think. Callum. Please, make me see. Oh, fuck. Incidents and I cannot dismiss them as random chance. The park works for the functions of the various places of corrupted power and the collective few got to learn. The scabbing rampage has drawn attention. It's a shame about Steve. I actually rather liked him. Huh? After they let me out, they gave me Callum back and sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Home bit a sweet home. I barely recognized it. Where there had been color and light, there were shadows and regrets. Where there had been warmth, there was a bone-deep coldness that never went away. I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Don, watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum and did the things that they told me. 
It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. I'm in the woods now, lost and afraid. Things never got any better. That's how I feel. Oh my 
me look at it. are told again and again and from their shape we build our understanding of the world two children are led into the woods they are lost for a time but then are captured by an old witch the child goes missing in Atlantic Island Park he wanders lost for a time before finding his way into the mouth of an old witch in the oldest version of the story the mother and the witch were the same person I never wanted to be the witch, but I am, aren't I? Oh, that's creepy as fuck. I'm um, gonna stop it there. Because... Oh. Okay, we're still getting the chills. If you enjoyed, like, and subscribe. If you didn't suck a suck, have a great day.